I just finished the demolition of the kitchen and the bathroom at that condominium and I'm not really due to start that project for another week. Um, I was just able to get in there early. I had an opening to do the demolition. Uh, today I'm going to start a fence. It's uh, about 100 feet with a wing fence and a gate. This is a sped up time lapse of me digging and setting the posts on the back section of fence. In real time, this took me over three and a half hours. These are some of the most difficult holes I've ever had to dig for a fence. If you'd like to see me make more home improvement videos like this, click the like button. Hundred and sixty-eight pickets and we need a total of two hundred and forty. This is what it looks like when you hit a sprinkler line. So I think I have enough room to set the post just in front of of this. The reason I didn't use a gas powered auger is there is buried gas, electric, and sprinkler lines all in the area where the fence is going. It is the start of day three on the fence project. Uh, today I think I'm going to show you a little bit more of, I guess, the technical aspect of how I built this fence. Making a straight fence is actually easier than uh, making a curved fence. And as you can see here, I got a string line that follows this top rail all the way around, and I've got uh, some screws that are kind of holding the string out so it conforms to this curve. And everything is supposed to be about an inch and three quarters above the rail so this is how i'm going to get my all my pickets a uniform straight line i started off by getting my first picket screwed on uh, making sure that it's plumb and i've got this spacer made up so i just set this in place and grab a picket. Make sure it's at the right height. I'll double check the plumb and then screw it on. This is an extremely high wind area and that's why the homeowner chose this style of fence.
This is what it looks like from the outside. So there's a little gap right there. On the other side, I'll have to rip one of these pickets everywhere there's a post. Like right there, where you can't get a full one in. That's what it looks like. There's another post. So straight on, you can't see through it. The idea is, when the wind does come through, you can go in and kind of disperse around it. You can see on that house, you got hurricane shutters on all the house or on all the windows so next I'm going down this back row and you're not going to get to see that next thing you're going to see is me building this gate up here I got the post set last night and today I put up these rails and this is the side that it's going to be hinged on so Everything's got to be an even surface, so I used some scrap to pack this out for the hinges to go on. So I took a measurement. We've got 49 and a little bit inches across, so I'm going to make my gate 48 inches. And we are going to make it 60 inches tall. Let's go take a look at what I've got started. So I pre-cut all these pieces so it's 48 inches wide and 60 inches tall. I just used my speed square to make these 45 degree um, pieces. I made one and then used that one as a template for the other four. I've got my squares out. So the next step is to screw this together. If you like seeing this type of home improvement project, make sure to subscribe to my channel and check out some of my other videos. to wrap this video up just wanted to kind of walk you through the gate and maybe give you a couple shots of the finished product still have to put this fence picket in because I got to get that latch hooked up so that you can access it from the back so that's what our gate looks like I also need a uh, another picket behind the back side there so it's too short That is now the, the nicest fence in the neighborhood. Everything's screwed together, there's no nails. 